this is an explanation for about the plugin class cluster in Grasshopper to 3D milling, 3D milling shapes. So the project itself is about um, do a 3D 3D milling from a shape that comes from from a from a 3D scanner from a, from a person, for example, let's say the, per, the head of a, the the scanning from a person from their head. The uh, as we can see here in the beginning, we we use we use load a, a head a model of the head from from any person and and the program itself will will um mill from a from a block of uh, let's say a stay farm or wood um a replica using the robot arm using the robot arm for let as here is in the beginning, I'm gonna I'm gonna show how how it behaves in <coughs> in simulation. We see how first what is doing the robot is uh, erasing um, erasing material because if it's a drill, what is you know what is what is il what is a drill? What is erase? Is have to drill around this around the material for for creating the shape of the head itself. What it needs to do is because you cannot do completely the the three D milling, you know, <clears throat> is take out material and later um, but find 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 the the milling so it can be uh, accurate. So. One of the things that we we just passed to the to the robot to, to the grasshopper code that we, that I created is at the head scanning and the center position for the um, for example this one is here so the robot itself can can locate in the in the three D environment and also the the the, the program. Then the grasshopper can can load the can load can change the can 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 can, can create the possible the, the model around the center. One uh, thing that to have in mind is because we're talking about <coughs> parametric design, what we can do is give like any size or shape. Of the box, the the build, the, the 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 milling, the, the milling material, the milling material, and from there we can we can say what's the size of depending on the size of the of the material, the grasshopper code will 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 recalculate, will reshape all the structure and and will. And we and, and we'll you know recalculate all the path planning for the robot arm so it doesn't need to calculate all the time or the person doesn't need to calculate all the time the new path planning because that's why we are using parametric design for for this kind of procedure. So another thing to have in mind is like <clears throat> when we are milling and we are cleaning the material in the in the material. Depending what material we are using, we are at the beginning we are just cleaning, we are just taking material out, right? So we are not finding the whole, we are not sculpting yet. So for that we have like a the like resolution, what, how fast, you know, how fast you want it to clean, or how how you know how, how fast or how deep is the how how much deep the resolution that the milling bit that you are using. Let's say for example you are using a milling bit of of uh, two two centimeters, right? And also, like the 
the radio of the you know the diameter of the beat and also and the length because and the length of the the depth that can go the the milling the milling beat that you're using for that kind of thing you know. <clears throat> And also the thickness and blah blah. So, for example, when you are, this is all the parameters that you use in when you're gonna, you know, mill. But when you're going to find, so we are talking about when you're going to do like the finding detailing that the robot arm is passing through the head. You know, it's it's not it's not um, it's not it's not anymore like taking the material it's just passing through the through the parameters the to, to, to the to the parts you know that to, to, to give the the you know the the sculptor the sculpt the, the, the sculpting the sculpting space in this case the sculpting head what we need what we wanted to look we need of course to use a different kind of drill bit you know so that's you know that's the, the, the thickness for example uh, how, how thick it is uh, Three, three centimeters maybe I wasn't used three millimeters because it's a three three millimeters we because in grasshopper we have like millimeters for for <clears throat> for the fault so three millimeters as the drill bit thickness will be the one that we will use to do in the robot arm so to, to find in the details anyway um, the work of the cluster in it's uh it, it includes all the compositions the calculations for the for the any shape in in grasshopper to 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 be reshaped and be and be able to calculate all the path planning without the need to to the person to be to need to to uh calculate a new path you know so that's that's the complexity of the program is to any shape any shape will adapt itself to the grasshopper okay now that the cluster is open we can continue with the explanation of how this how this works so basically what we do is from the from the head you know let's say for the head for this for the scanning that was imported from in a layer from the scanning that we were, we were importing in a layer the next step is like is to relocate it in a position that the robot arm can you know reach and depending on the size that the user wants to wants to reach, reshape you know wants for example let's say the user wants to use a um, to be, to build them um, to mill a block of let's say four centimeters by 40, 40 by forty by forty let's say okay a box right so the scanning it will be recalculated to to the maximum um, volume possible for the for the block because the, in the way that we were designing it is is to to use the maximum size, the maximum volume possible for the for the for the scanning into the in the into the into the into the building block. For example, here we we decided that we want a forty by I think 40, 40 by forty two and by forty eight centimeters by tall. You know, so as you can see here. If we go to let's say this one, clearly the this head was replay re, re, resized to a bigger area, and also where it, it was it was like uh, adjusted to use the maximum possibility that we can access in, in this volume. So one thing that <clears throat> One thing that was problematic to 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 think about it, it was that always when you load a uh, scanning, when when you load an scanning an scanning is the head, let's say a scanning a scan, a scanning objects, um, you don't know how to place it into the volume. But in the grasshopper that later we will explain, 
uh, we decided that to analyze the scanning position and then from the upper position and then lo load it into the into the into the block and then lower resize it to to fit completely in the with uh, the boundaries let's say in the boundaries that they will be the maximum drilling maximum maximum drilling drilling depth that the drill bit is using in our case would be like the <coughs> The, you know for the cleaning material or for the fining material but we're using so depending of which kind of size of the of the drill bit that we're using for milling it will reshape also we will reshape the boundaries that the that the scanning uh, object it is so we need to, it will always fit and it will always be in the boundaries of the box of the, that we want to mill and sculpt with the robot arm. So we continue explaining now the grasshopper so we can go in depth of the, of the, com of the complexity that we, and the problems that we pass through to calculate <coughs> parameters. So first thing that we do is like, of course, we give parameters for the box, right? So with the position and the, 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 and the size, and, and this is what we will, we will reshape always how, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the maximum size that we can, we can, you know, mill. But later, what we do is process the, we process the, um, the sculptor, the sculptor. So we, we, let's say if we can. What we, we do is, we are analyzing the, we are analyzing the head. As we can, we can see here how the, how the how is it is the highest point is where we will place the head you know so we are analyzing the head and uh, and then for example here we are we are use taking the head from 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 the from the layer that we are scan it and then we are just processing it to pass to the to the real size that we want for this the, the box that we wants to the maximize the space in the box that we want to sculpt right the next step is like we are we are just putting it into the we are use put it into the position into the position and then we are we are use um, well we are we are taking out the material right so basically what we are doing is first we, we slide the whole entire head so we know how many planes that how many, how many planes so this planes means like this is la, the um, the drill bit you know the drill bit as the diameter so so you know we need to drill and then find the material and then go to the next layer it had to be it had to be you know no 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 not as the passing through because because you're using a drill that when it pass it, it use take out material so we need to always like know how cold the diameter you know the next step is we put into the box this box is the one that we we are we are using for we are using for you know for for mill you know because let's say we have a box for 40 by 40 by 40 and then we are use <coughs> we are just calculating the here how many how many for example in this one for one two three four five six seven eight I think in nine ten 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 times it will pass to take out the material before milling into the fining way so what it does this the this structure what is doing in the grasshopper is just passing through and all the material and then he's telling okay all these times that you're gonna pass and this little box because these boxes little boxes is, big, is they are defined by the thickness and the length of the drill bit if it change it will change 
and also we pass through but we are avoiding the last the last pass so because it would need to pass using a um a finding a finding drill bit to, to make it all the details of the design basically what well, for example here we are we are creating the path planning for the robot so the mostly mostly, mostly is just a, a huge compendium of lines to to tell where to pass one of the things that we found like difficult in the uh, grasshopper was to <clears throat> tell when the lines will go and then when the line will come back because let's say the robot arm is passing through, right? The robot arm is passing through, but the robot arm needs to know when not to interfere with another with another part of material. So the robot arm, what is doing here in this declaration is is passing, is passing, and then go back to the initial position, and then avoid. We are using a we are using functions here to avoid the other material and then go back and to erase so we when we are working into the three-dimensional uh, in, the, in the real world in three-dimensional with material that cannot be fixated afterwards we need to know how to teach to the robot to avoid material because this is a real problem that and especially if, if you want to use uh, want to use to, to have a code that it will it will um it will iterate in each iteration that you are using different kind of scannings it will readapt itself so that, that's the fun of grasshopper right so what we do is basically we we con we create a continuous line through all the path planning for the robot arm and <laughs> well sorry and we and, and we just avoid all the time how to how to interfere with material that we don't want to erase because that's that's the key ingredient to not break to not take out material that we don't need we don't need we need it you know <clears throat> so for example here if you can see you can go inside we are we are defining the head already you know we are avoiding all the points that we, of material that we don't we don't we need to avoid and also we always go back to the home position and then go back and then go go where where where, where it should be <laughs> for 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 this definition we basically use all the material all the all the all, all the tools in Grasshopper that we have, and, on, and on the, we don't use that many new add-ons. Only use Paperfish for using the cherry picker and other stuff uh, for demonstrations. And then later we create just you know at the end when we create the, the complexity. The complexity of this, pro the problematic of this, it was mostly to to all all these calculations that you can see here are to to just avoid material, basically. We want the robot to go through a certain certain part of calculations uh, through the through the shape to first we click material and then later we find the, the details of the of the structure that we we scan it scan it before and then at the end <clears throat> and at the end and at the end we use we use merge it into in, for the toolpath, the, which are like as the path planes, planes that they, they, that's what the robot arm needs. But all these calculations, all these calculations are basically used to avoid material. And what happens if you incorporate, incor in, you put more, more or different structures and different shape or different size of, um, of volumes that you want to mill? This this code, what it will do is will will readapt it will readapt itself so in this case in this case we we don't need to we don't need to do again all the path planning for a new shape we just need to put uh, any scanning any scanning and the scanning itself will reshape 
it will adjust to the the volume of the of the box that we want to mill or these type boxes because because it's it's like some 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 material some some, some kind of shape that we can we can have easy access to mill and after that it will use it will just create all the all the all the of the planes because what the robot really needs and require is just planes and points and planes. So as you can see here, it, the most most of the positions and the head that that, that went to me and then also this is for example all the line the, the, this line is, what it shows is, is where the robot tra the robot arm will pass through the robot arm will pass through all for through all these lines in a continuous way and then always above avoiding material so this is what we want so so this kind of return, return point so does this is what this class cluster does so this is this is the this is this this the complexity was just to how to make a how to make a shape, you know, to to, to, to not to, to any shape to, to redo, and then basically we use uh, the robots, uh, um, the robots plugin to to recalculate all the um, all the all the positions. And here is a small little demonstration. For example, if we change if we change the the shape, let's say we change the shape to to twenty two hundred. So as we can see here, I already changed, already changed the structure of the head, but we need to, we need to change completely the, the other data so we can have like something more, you know, more reliable that we we will look in the real world. In this case, for example, we put like a other length of 200, and then, and then they they will be changed to to this one. It takes time to recalculate because it's a lot of calculation, but but after after a while it, it it works perfectly so you can see here already already changed uh, again also the other length and then we will change the last one we will say 200 oops as you can see now the robot arm it completely for example here we can see uh, here we can see that we have previously a very you know a head that was bigger right in the previous example but now we change to a very smaller head you know so the robot arm you recalculate because we give it another different size of the box that we want to mill the robot arm like, automatically it adapts its path planning its path so it be able to mill this new shape in this new volume that's that's the beauty of grasshopper because it reparameterizes all the whole entire structure and parameters needed to to give the feedback to feed the robot arm the new path. That's why we use it. So if we just do if we just do a small a small demonstration, it starts it starts from the home position and then we'll continue with the milling. To, to for example here it use cleaning material cleaning material cleaning material and then later uh, we can see here for example how how is avoiding how is avoiding so how is avoiding some some material and then later it will do the pass through the through the head Let's say a big arm, so here just one part of the head, so, so that it can be more clear. How to how how to mill and then clean. So it will not be a problem. Then see, for example, how it just rotate and then and let's go back to the. But. Anyway, this is a simple demonstration about how, how this how this plugin works. How this plugin works. How this plugin works as they follow it by by this is a real demonstration in in the real real scenario. Real scenario how to 
how the robots works. As we can see here, there is um, there is the robot arm at the left. It's an UR10 that we are using to do the explanation. And at the right is the is the computer with the simulation. And here we can show how how it's going to each point. I have to say also that stay we didn't put the the the, the the drill is because we are in the laboratory, so to avoid any, you know, any, any for a security reasons, we decided to not put the drill, so we can just show how the robot behaves completely well uh, without problems and 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 it's adapting, and it's adapting, and in real time we have also feedback into into the grasshopper how the robot how the robot moves and how the robot. Uh, is always taking the same pos the position that we want it's because we are feeding from so we are feeding from the Rhino grasshopper to the UR10 through LAN the the positions that we want the robot to to go through and then as we can see it it use follow all the path planning that we created previously in the in the grasshopper environment and also how it goes from one A to B. So we are milling, we are milling in, in avoiding material, and we are also looking for finding positions. And with this, it will conclude my briefly explanation about how to how to mill in Grasshopper with Rhino with a UR10. Um, robot arm from Universal Robots and creating a well, a plugin or a cluster of, of an structure that will readapt itself and reshape any any um, a scanning any a scanning and to to a certain size that we want. Thank you.